Here are your hosts, Marlon Craig and Eric Lacan. So much for being beautiful and standing tall. How tall are you again? Oh, that's a national secret. I did not even discover it in my application. Oh, it's a secret, but uh, she's almost as tall as Eric. I was going to say. Eric, how tall are you? 5'11"? Well, uh, you know, it used to be six feet. Now Uh, I will tell. I'm not sure exactly what it is now. Maybe a slight bit shorter, but yeah, we're about the same height. Now I will respond, I'm as tall as Eric with my high heels. Yeah, so in your next pageant, they say, how tall are you? Go, I'm almost as tall as Eric Lacane on RPM on DZRJ. All right. To make you, do you pay me fee for that? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Promote you? Uh, promote All me? Right. All right, so I'm five feet and five inches, so Natasha is still taller than me, even if I'm wearing three inches. We're at the point where we, we measure our, ourselves horizontally. Actually, on the stage, we are supposed to, to have the heels six inches, but I was allowed just high heels. Yeah, because, because I'm too tall. Enough, yeah. Right? Ah. Could yeah, you yeah. imagine? You'll be so towering. All right. I was blessed that I had lower than them. So <laughs> tell us. So. How do you, you see when you join a, a beauty contest or especially an international a beauty contest, so what preparation did you make mindfully? So what do you tell yourself? I'm going to win this. Or did you say, I want to join. doesn't matter what I win. So did you go there to say, I'm going to win? I actually did not know I was going to join it uh, when I went to casting because it was my queen friend. She said, come to casting, it will be fun just to see that. Maybe you will be one of them, haha, you know, <clears throat> we just joked about. So I went and uh, so finally I got it. Then I say, okay, why not? It was my childhood dream, you know. To really? Uh, yes. Like you what know, age did you dream like about? Like a me? teenager, but I was not ready for that. I was too shy. Yeah, so when you were looking now, at uh, those women, beautiful women yeah. on TV winning those crowns, you say, mm, yeah. one day I'll be, one, day, I'll be yeah. one of them. <laughs> and that I thought at that moment, I say, oh, why not? I, I want it, I think. That's uh, exactly. So, see, everything <laughs> comes. Uh, did, did you want to be a beauty queen when you were a little girl? I always knew I was a beauty, I so I never thought that I had to I don't need a, for that beauty. I don't need some competition <laughs> to show yeah. how beautiful. That's I how I felt. I don't need a competition, but actually did not feel like competition. I was just myself. Yes. Yeah, well, these, I'm assuming a lot of, you know, because like, when we see Miss Universe, it's mm-hmm. a lot about who's the most beautiful and they all these things. But the Misses one, it's more about... What you are, your substance, yes, it's um, things you've done in life. The queen of substance, yes, that's the substance. You yeah, know. a woman of substance. Especially, yes. like, I, I'm, I'm assuming they look more at the charities that you've done, what you've done through life, yes. how to help the people in the community. And you live in the Philippines most yes. of the time, I believe. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, how you work with the people in the country that you live in. It's, mm-hmm. I'm a, you know, I, I, yes, and the question you respond also important because the question actually was like amazing. Sometimes very, wow, nonsense question, you know. Uh, but the, okay, so going back there, so that was your childhood desire already, like saying, oh, I want to be a beauty queen. I don't mind yeah. being a beauty queen or like that. Yeah, no, I would like to. Yeah. Actually, you know, going back to that question, I said to him, when I was five years old, I said, I want to be a stewardess. Because I said, it's most beautiful. When you were five years old, you yeah. wanted to be a stewardess? No, but I, that's when I entertained a thought. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I said, I'll be like her. Because I said, this most beautiful stewardess in her hat. Aww. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen at that age. Hmm. But anyway, so I said, I want to be that one. And I became one. But then, as Mrs. Universe... I always, uh, it was not in my younger years that I wanted it, but it was on my late teenage years when I look at all the yeah. Mrs. Universe. When you are ready already, mentally and spiritually too. Uh, no, not it. really. I just said, no. uh, why not? Uh, I want one, but <laughs> I think they're too beautiful. They're too perfect. They have so much long legs. Oh, ne- <laughs> never think that someone more perfect than you. But anyway, I don't think so. That I was offered actually uh-huh. to to make the Mrs. Uh, winning, winning Filipinas for the Mrs. Un- uh, for the Miss Universe in 1978. Wow! But then at the same time, I was engaged to be married so i had to choose between mm. m- becoming mrs craig or oh miss God. universe or bini bini filipinas so i choose the the mrs craig i hope, <laughs> I hope men deserve that sacrifice that do you regret that every day of your life well, no. not being the miss <laughs> no. i can First. always be one one day <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway so it was your it was in your mind already actually subconsciously right yes. so now you became one so 
when you in the two months when they told you you have two months preparation so what was your mantra mindfully in your mind how do you mantra. tell yourself in the morning when you wake up every time in the morning before even competition I know that when I wake up and I look myself in the mirror I say oh you're my beauty another day oh, you know one of us. <laughs> and sometimes I forget what I what I planned for the day okay because <laughs> They say, like when, when I, I look at myself. So you kiss the mirror every morning. You go up to the mirror and you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I kiss love on the you. mirror, but Mitchell. yeah, it's how I begin my day. I say, so nice. "Hello, beauty." Or, All right. You know, because I, I would say that uh, without makeup, I look even more beautiful than with makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah, without, right? Yes, that's so, right. So, <laughs> so you do that every morning. You wake up and yeah. you say, "Good morning, Natalia." Mm, you're beautiful. Yes, and sometimes when I, when I'm all dressed and taxi wait for me in downstairs, sometimes I go to mirror and I say, "Hello, beauty again! Wow, you're so perfect!" And sometimes I forgot of the taxi waiting. <laughs> you know, oh say, okay, where where do I go? Okay, Cause, okay, that's the because yeah, because be I look I look in the mirror and I go, "Well, you're getting a little bigger today, but okay, <laughs> that's that's fine." <laughs> You're so just love yourself. <laughs> okay. Just love yourself, and you will be perfect. So you really put so much love because actually the previous topics is uh, the title was how to love yourself mindfully, emotionally, yes. spiritually, yes, and uh, physically. So tell us your beauty secrets. My beauty secrets now is I think uh, good uh, good food. I don't say I'm on diet, but I really uh, eat properly. What is properly? Uh, properly, no sugar, no milk product, no bread product, no yeast, no meat. No yeast. So mm, no, no bread. yeast, no sugar, no <laughs> meat. Interesting, interesting enough. So you don't drink milk. No, because milk creates uh, slime in our body, which prevents your food, uh, how to say, um, to get all vitamins. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You have to read it. And also, uh, yeah. it bacteria in the stomach. Yes, bacteria and all mushrooms, fungus, create in our body, create from milk product and, yeah. and yeast. It, and sugar. Just interesting you say it, because I've done a lot of research on this thing with the milk issue, and they say that, you know, we, we are body, our bodies are made to drink milk until we're about four. Exactly. And then after the age of four, our bodies develop and then we can't really digest the milk correctly like exactly. we could when we were babies. Exactly. Ad adults do not need milk. That's no, no need. Yeah. Why do we need milk? We are I even learned to drink coffee without milk now, so it's a bit yeah, agree, but but <laughs> now. That's the fashion. No sugar, <laughs> no, no uh, milk. Because they said it's healthier to drink a, a good brewed coffee, yes. really, especially if it's a good bean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said not to dilute it with sugar and with cream because then you destroy the, the health benefits of the And coffee. even one month, I think it was a September, full month, I eat not even cooked products. Um, I mean, I had that mood. I did not force myself to do anything. I just had like, okay, no no cooked food. I had body, no cooked food, is that what you're saying? Yeah, no cooked food. No cooked food, yeah. I said, all right, we're back with the RPM mm -hmm. and we still have uh, Mrs. Natasha, no, Natalia, Natalia. Bronzova, Bronzova. Uh, from Russia, but who's With a resident love. of Philippines and Malaysia. And she's our current Mrs. Malaysia Global Universe. So Thank going you. back to, to how you love yourself uh, physically, so good diet, right? And Definitely. thank you for reminding us milk products are no good. And Good also sh uh, sugar, try to avoid sugar, sugar we know that, and carbo, white carbo. carbos, white carbos, especially yeah. those made of yeast, yes. right? So when you, when you said you don't eat cooked food, so that means you eat uh, like, It was for vegetables? one month, I did not eat uh, cooked food, uh, because I detox my body, so I what, ate eat fruit salads, salads. Uh, grains, uh, you cannot imagine how many you can do with grains when you blend it, you can do cocktails. Like how do you everything. do, talking about grains, like... You boil the grains first, or uh, you can boil them. or you can do raw. Any, so what any kind nuts, of raw? Nuts, uh, nuts. Seeds. Okay, seeds. That's and your nuts. protein. Yes, yes, nuts, yes. Seeds. Of course. And, uh, like anyway. almonds is very good source of any. calcium. Also, uh, flax seeds. You have to eat flax everyday uh, flax, flax seeds, seeds. Yeah. to add it to your food. I've heard of those flax seeds. Okay, if yeah. I'm going to join the get Mrs. Some, universe, get some flax and going on. Mrs. Universe Classic. I have to get. I, ha I have to eat like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start seeds. pecking at your food <laughs> and become a vegetarian. All right. So if you only see uh, Miss uh, Mrs. I always call her Miss Miss Natalia Bronzova oh, here. You. Her waist is almost like twenty three and a half to twenty four only. Yeah. <laughs> I actually lost about oh eight eight kilos. And eight kilos um, before the pageant. 
Uh, yeah, but it was not for pageant. I did not know then when I will join. Ah, but you just did the, uh, yeah. the talks yourself. Now my weight about 61 kilo. Wow. Right. What do you, yeah. I mean, a lot of people but, are going to ask the question, <laughs> the very next question, I'm sure, is how, how did you lose eight kilos? Was it, did you start a workout program? I, did you no use your way. Diet program? I'm a very lazy person. I don't do unnecessary movements. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so you mean all I do is sometimes <laughs> walk, walk, walk all day on high heels. <laughs> That's the only exercise I, yeah, I do. But you walk all day. You don't sometimes, lie yes. down all day. It's not nice for for food, but but you are queen. You cannot remove your shoes and say, "Oh, I am tired. My foot is tired." Never like that. Yeah, for two months. Even before that. the passion, I feel like that. You cannot do this. So yes, you, you took your weight down based on your diet. Is that what you're saying? Yes, on the cleaning body, I would say. I clean uh -huh. liver, kidney, blood system. Yeah. Yeah, she was just telling uh, yeah. With the herbs, with the natural yeah. ways, you know. Yeah, so you do the detoxing natural uh, way. Yes, I know. I know all about that. Yeah, I but do. she's also into health and wellness. Yeah. But do you do yoga? I do stretching, not really yoga. I do um, stretching, I do meditation. And, um, oh, that's very mm -hmm. nice. Okay, let's talk about meditation. Oh, wow. So because uh, they say meditation yes. is when you focus on yourself and the desires of yourself. I mean, not just mm -hmm. the physical desires, but mostly it's a bit higher. Like, so when you say, because they say meditation is mm -hmm. focusing on- On intentions, and not in the desires. Correct, <laughs> If you will focus on desires, then you go like uh, erotic fantasies, whatever. <laughs> That's why I said not physically. <laughs> so with intention- Let's <laughs> well, get back to that. What are we? That's the word. The erotic when you meditate, is you focus on your intentions yes. and mostly for the good of you and the good of others. So right? that, yes, you know, when, exactly. you're, when you're doing it, they always say, clear your mind. Yes, clear like your empty mind. Empty your mind. De detox your mind, I would say. Detox your mind from bad thinking, from bad emotions, from uh, everything negative. You don't need it. It's garbage. Correct. When you meditate, away from negativities, right? Yes. And they say uh, meditation is one way other people call it. That's when you pray. Uh, yes. Like you, um, you're I'm, trying to pray for the... I more the meditate than pray, I would say. Highest power. Do you? Because, look, you pray, you say, oh, God, give me this and this. No. I know what I want. I take it in my life. <laughs> I don't ask God to give me. I say, okay, I want that, that, that. I go and I do and I take it. No, for me, when I, before I meditate, is I prayerfully don't ask what I want, okay. but to ask to how think. I may become better for myself and for others yes, and yes, then yeah. uh, if I ask for prosperity and abundance like uh, it always comes back to me uh, they say that you want to be prosperous and abundant you have to think of uh, giving significant uh, service to others because it can network through your free service you might meet the right people to give you your prosperity oh, but before goodness. others <laughs> never forget <laughs> never forget yourself that's right. That's why loving oneself love is very important. You That's cannot why. love others and give love if you don't love yourself. Correct. First, learn to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And this is good attitude to your body, to your health, to your mind. Think positively and give others good mood, you know. So how long do you meditate a day? Sometime one hour in the morning, one hour at night, sometime do you do, the, do you do the thing where you turn the lights down low and you put on the music of the, the, the creek flowing through the thing, then you put your, your fingers like this? No go, oh. way. I do it in the bed. I lay flat. Sometimes mm. I fell to sleep. But that's true. <laughs> because of that. You don't have to do you that. You have to do it loud. You don't put your, your legs in like kind of a cross thing? <laughs> no, 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 darling. Put your fingers Not like darling. This. I'm not crazy. Mm. Too. I'm no, not, no. There are other ways of meditating. You lie down comfortably <laughs> and then you just lie focus down on yourself and remove removing the toxifying yourself of yeah, negativity as you, you can, said right you can find in, in youtube many many programs to yeah, if you to are meditate. lazy to do it yourself just let someone talk for you and <laughs> so, yeah. just, <laughs> just, enjoy. just lay there turn youtube on and just yeah, let, let the, guy, let do, the right? guy do it do but it, it for teach you. you how to do after you do yourself yes and after that yeah. you know it already so yeah. exactly what do you do so you close your eyes make yourself comfortable in bed yes, yes. and uh, put the program the way you need now. If you need for a good fortune, you, you put that. If you need for good mood, also you, you put have that. a music background. Uh, yeah, but it's usually voice, I do voice as too. well. Voice as well. Uh, yes. You know, the, because you need a voice to uh -uh. put yourself. Uh huh. Okay, so it's yourself. the neuro linguist programming music. 
right? Music. You can hear a lot like for abundance, prosperity, for love, for for confidence. We all yes. have that kind of music. It depends what's your meditation for the day. But the voice also important, Vo voice over which person tell you. And there's also... Is it like a pop singer? No. no way. Okay, okay. It's so very um, subdued, yeah, yeah. nice voice, ah. really relaxes you. You should try it one time. I think I'm falling go, asleep. Go. That's, I yeah, if that you also. go to sleep, it's better even yes. because your subconscious work anyway. Yeah. So it's just recorded there and at the same time you don't think what you don't need to because you sleep. Yeah. Well, I'm good at sleeping. <laughs> I like that part. But they say that, that meditation can lower your blood pressure and can, can actually make certain parts of your physical body more healthy. It balance, sure. balance everything. That's true, balance. It stabilizes, it stabilizes your, your yeah. health conditions. And mind condition also. Yeah. You remove your bad thinking, you be, be, remove your fears or worriness from life. For example, many people worry about tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Mm. Live today, enjoy today. Tomorrow we will enjoy it tomorrow. You know? Yeah, what can you do today is what better can you than do today? what you're thinking. You are on the program with Marlene yeah. and Eric, you enjoy it. Yes, <laughs> they said you should enjoy the present. Yes. Right? That's why it's called present. a gift. Present yeah. moment. Present. <laughs> because past you cannot change. And future, if you're worried too much on future, it will it will come bad way. So you better not worry. Just gotta, give it to God. I gotta work on that. I love that, Natalia. I'm stressed about so what I'm gonna have for lunch. No wonder <laughs> Natalia is still looking so glowingly beautiful and flawlessly beautiful. Because I never worry about lunch. <laughs> If I don't have it, it's even better for yes, me. Yes, I'm very stressed about what I'm going to have. Um, okay. And, and so that's what you do mindfully. That's how you, you relax yourself, detox your mind, and loving Definitely. yourself, relaxing one hour a day. Yeah. And gives, it gives you m much more energy to create what you want. Then I do my paintings, I do my sculpture, I do many, many things. Now I'm working on a bronze portrait of guess who? Uh, guess who? Guess who? Our President Duterte. President Duterte, yes. you are doing a sculpture for him in bronze? Bro yes, portrait of Well, bronze. when you go and give that gift to him, can I come along? I hope, <laughs> I hope I have a team yes, to come. Okay, so, ah, so you're Not yet you are inspired to sculpt the, the yeah. face of our President of course, Duterte. he's a great man. Why not Putin? He's a little bronze. Uh, he's the next one, yeah. <laughs> I'm the next one, and then Trump. I test myself on Duterte, okay? <laughs> and then Trump, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Un unless he pay for me for that. Well, he's got the bronze hair already, so, <laughs> you know, you don't have to change the color of his hair. <laughs> anyway, so, I like that, Natalia. So, you really love yourself, and one way of doing really is to that talks yourself through your through and I love meditation. the world around me I love people I meet you know many I go to many events yeah and uh, I see you always time, on Facebook. every time every time I meet someone very interesting the butterfly beauty mm, yes, of the Philippines the Miss Natalia Bronzova and that's symbol. your insignia yeah, it's my symbol which was on my dresses on the pageantry every day you know what uh, um, since we're talking about this, you know, you're, you're going around. I see you all the time on because we're Facebook friends, yeah. and I see all your parties and the things you do. How did you come to the Philippines in the first place? I know we talked about this when you were on the show a long time ago, and I just can't just refresh our people like because you're Russian, obviously. Um, yes. And uh, um, what brought you down to the Philippines? And then you you seen it. You ended up living here. Yes, I came to Philippines eight and a half. Seven and a half years ago, yes. Uh, first, uh, we installed a monument of uh, Jose Rizal here in, Ma in Manila. It was in Las Pinas, in Manila. You La installed? Las yes, oh. bronze monument. You mean you made the bronze? Um, not. It, it was my adoptive father, great Russian sculptor, Gregory Patotsky, who, wow. who made the monument, actually. But I did the collaboration and the inauguration. Uh, we yeah. came here. To it be installed was in Las Pinas? Las Pinas University, yes, oh, wow. under Mani oh. Villar. Patron, patronship and uh, it was in 2011 in in june i think was um, yeah. a result 150 something yeah so that, that that's how it brought me then i went to discover philippine and i d discover spirituality and all sort of uh, spiritual people i wrote book on them and i wrote book on the philippines and then next my trip i met madame imelda marcos and then i wrote book on her so yeah. So then, after, after that, after that, you decided to just live here and stay here. Yeah, time? because people were so welcome me, and I love it so much. And um, yes. especially if they see this beautiful white goddess. 
Yes, Thank Filipinos you. are very, how do you call this, welcoming. Yeah, that's beauties. how I feel. That's how I feel Especially so if you're white. special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They love the white. They actually, love I white think, Everybody wants to be white. I, actually, I, I think uh, when my fan club was created about one year ago, they named me Queen, Queen, Queen. And so then uh, I thought when I had this beauty pageant, I said, oh, I have to join to like, you know. To, to be able to, to really make it yeah, permanent, the name to make Queen. It, yes, because they already named it that. But so I, ha I have like to. Princess or I Queen. Must Right? Do you do you miss Russia? Do you miss living in Russia? Oh, I live in so many countries that I. It's always in my heart. Why would I miss it? Yeah. I present Russian culture here in Malaysia. Yeah, I do many things now. For example, now we create a, a historical panel with a famous Philippine artist, uh, first historical mural on Russian-Philippine friendship, which was supposed to be exposed in the Congress in November 12th, but because of the beauty pageant, I have to postpone my exhibition at the Congress of the Philippines to January, I hope. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay, so... so <laughs> uh, uh, do Russian women join a lot of beauty contests, right? They do too. Yes, they love it. Of in, course. In Russia, do they have also like uh, many, Miss many, many, or Mrs. Russia, Russia, many, yes, uh, Mrs. Many. Universe, Russia, yeah, Miss uh, contests, or Ra Miss like Russia Universe, Mrs. Galaxy, World, Miss, the Miss Galaxy. Uh, so Miss you have that too. Cosmopolitan, yes. many. Yeah. Oh, can you tell them again? Because the uh, first time I had an interview with our beauty here, Miss Natalia Bronzova, Thank she was you. telling me, and we like I saw like common grounds between the Philippine. Philippines uh, women and the Russian women mm -hmm. uh, like we Filipinos like to dress up we yeah. love our shoes and so with the Russians right so tell yes. them the common so the Russians, grounds what are yes. the things that we are similar with yeah we like to do ourselves beautiful for the world when we go to the world we like to put makeup hairdo high heels be beautiful, beautiful clothes, yeah, dress. beautiful clothes. High couture clothes. That's why I feel in demand here. Because, for example, during my pre my living in Canada, I could not do that because there is not such yeah. reception. It's not very welcome. It's seen strangely. So when I came here, I said, "Wow, this is my world." Oh, because wow. in Russia, they do. I see beautiful yeah, women. Yeah, and I have to myself. I have to well relearn dressed. myself. Yeah, but in Canada, I could not. It was not in demand. I could not do that. I love when I you told it. me that. Russian women are so known to be so ladylike that yeah. even during winter they go walk their dogs and they are in their high heels. Yes, in a fur coat and high heels. In fur coats in and high heels. I could, I could sort of see that. Walking the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, yeah. some of us in America, especially, mm -hmm. right? Or some parts of the Philippines are in. You walk your dog, you go in your jogging pants. Oh, that's right? what in America, actually, what I don't like about. Whenever you go, shorts and t-shirts, okay, but no, yeah, right? we're, no. We're pretty, we're, we're pretty laid back. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Eric, laid sorry. Back country, <laughs> as a, you know, as, as opposed to you know uh, um, when you go out to get your mail, dressing up and in your in your but cocktail no. dress and high heels. But most but of it, these American coaches are saying you now that you have to be beautiful every day, put a makeup on, whether you're just cooking something for your children or for your. This is with with beauty competitions. I can say you know. Being from the United States, mm -hmm. we sort of make fun of the whole thing. Um, we, and we only have really, you know, one. Um, yeah. And then everything goes into that one. I, I've never heard of a Mrs. Univer Mrs. USA or a Mrs. Did or all these things. Like in the Philippines, there's so many beauty competitions. Literally, there's, a, there's one every week I can go to. But in, in the U.S., they, they, it's just never really caught on like it did here in Asia. Because you're woman too feministic. I am anti-feministic. <laughs> you are woman or you are feminist. It yeah, cannot right. be otherwise. Uh -huh. So good. That's just a common ground. Like Filipino women, uh, mostly. <laughs> Especially not, in the, in the upper, middle yeah. upper middle class and upper class, they love to dress up. And they're right because they're women. And they like to party and That's socialize. That's why many, many Americans come here for Filipino women. And they come for, to Russia for the same reason. Well, that, that's slightly not exactly <laughs> true. Exactly <laughs> true. <laughs> we, men, men come here for women because in our country, we can't, we can't Ex date 18-year-olds like they can here. Exactly. Except uh, uh, Eric, of course. What do you mean? There are a lot of Americans who are dating 18 years old. They're already 80 years old. They're already old men. We can't do that in our country. But they cannot do that in their own country, right? And, and you know, and it's the same way, you know, the, the Russia bride and the Filipino bride, the male yeah, thing, you know, yeah. Russian women, they want to get out of the Russia, they want to come to the 
United States, where it's Filipino women. They want to get out and they want to, you know, have a better life and all these kind of things. So you need sort of to update, Eric. Now Russian women don't go, want to go out much. It was maybe 90s, but now Russia is so perfect. So, yeah. And well, okay. they're still yeah. struggling. <laughs> Economically, they're struggling oh, horribly. Let's hear again. America struggle more, okay? Huh? I'll point to you. America struggle okay, more. Okay, Natalia, tell <laughs> us again about the... <laughs> we can, we, we, we can yeah. start, we can have some fun with our, our, our political debate. Okay. We'll get to that later. Yeah, later. So we got a whole other... But Natalia, we want to see common grounds. So we want to know, like, tell us again about uh, Russian women, their, their good characters and what they're known for. Like, the Filipinas are known to be very hospitable, kind, sweet, mm -hmm. Uh, they love romanticism. So, uh, can you compare that? Russian thing? women known for for their strengths, I would say, and for their education and intellectual. Very the beauty with intellectual. So you can talk about anything with Russian women. Really? Well, yeah. I've, I've always heard because my uh, one of my my girlfriend for a very long time. She was Polish, which is not Russian, I know. But awesome. she spoke Russian, and she spent a lot of time with... Okay. with Her fingertips may be Russian, and she, <laughs> influenced. And she would talk about Russian women and that they were so dedicated to family, and that was the number one oh, yeah. thing. Family-oriented. So then, then I am exceptional, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, Natalia is not domesticated type. But Filipino women, like they're born to be mother, good mothers and good wives. They like to take care of their but husbands. They're also good business women. That I know too. Them. So <laughs> are, 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 are Russian women good business women too? Yeah, also. Of course, of course. And a yeah. uh, question now. Ha ha ha. Why didn't you not marry a Russian man? Oh, because I think Canadian proposed me first. <laughs> <That's> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Russian men had no choice. Very, very good answer. <laughs> well, the Canadians got that. to me first. I love so. that. Okay, that was very diplomatic. <laughs> good, good answer. So, um, but tell me again about Russian men. What are they known for with regards to to m making them as your husband? Uh, are they good husbands? Some of them, I suppose, they are good husband because they are men. They feel themselves men. They always pay for a woman, for example. Uh -huh. They always make gifts, okay? They flowers, flowers, you Flowers, definitely. Look at the Putin. He gave flowers even to most unfeminine woman, Merkel, you know. <laughs> in France? In, no, in, in Germany. Oh, in the, Germany. The, the, the chancellor of Germany. And, 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 <laughs> and Merkel was like, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> she feel like insulted. <laughs> oh, wait, wait how, a minute. How a woman can be insulted with flowers? I don't know. Was she insulted? She was, yes. Feel yeah. like insulted, but Germany. You know. She, I mean, I, you know, okay. yeah, she looked <laughs> no, at it as, as, Europeans, a, as a put down normally, her. I know some German men and some Danish men, when they first time they meet you they give you flowers yeah i mean you know and russian do that right? russian do that he's sure. her political enemy oh, that's, <laughs> so I mean, that's part that's part of it and he goes well here you know well, Angela, here's some flowers I, I for you. but he gave it with a smile with nice gentleman <laughs> attitude he's very I gentleman like, i love i love putin i think yeah so t tell 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 them about putin why you like him like <laughs> The world doesn't understand why because I love our Putin president. for me the oh, the, the symbol of a ma masculine man and men. Because I, I would love to hear this. Uh -huh. yeah. so let's, okay. Let's take it. On this note, <laughs> why Natalia Bronson loves Putin like the way we're I gonna, love our president? Come back and ask we'll go for a commercial question. break. Seeing these beautiful women on board should brighten your day, even if it's gloomy. In Makati, it is gloomy, and now we just have our other beauty that just arrived, Miss Marilo Tolico Villanueva from Cebu, who is our Mrs. Universe Philippines 2017. She competed last year in South Africa. And uh, <laughs> now she's the executive director for the upcoming pageant Mrs. Universe International in Cebu this coming December 10 to 12, but the pageant already, or the contestants are coming in starting December 4. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, um, would you like to say hi, my beauty queen? Hello, everyone. It's so good to be back here. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> we miss having you. She's been on the show uh, before. Yes. We had such a great time the last time you were on the show. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> now you just have to shoot with the 
flow with that. That's, we were talking about uh, with uh, Natalia here how she is uh, mindfully taking care and loving herself. And you, did you hear it on the radio? She said meditation. Meditation. And of course, it helps us to focus. Okay? Yeah, and remove negativity. Yes, remove negativity. Yes. And you have to pray. Be prayerful, of course, because without your faith, you're nothing. Yes. <laughs> so uh, uh, even uh, Natalia is also a Christian. So when do you pray? So when you meditate, you don't pray. When do you pray? I pray on Sundays. Oh, how about for or breakfast, special, lunch, and dinner? You don't pray. Occasion. You know, new fashion. You bless your food with picture. Oh, <laughs> but at it's night it's the modern praying. At night, yes. who do you thank? Like you just go and sleep, you don't say. No, I say thank I say you. thank you, God, for all the beautiful day. And if I meet beautiful people, of course I thank God. Really, for beautiful people. So yeah. you really do thank at night. It's a blessing. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that, and <laughs> not for a great day. And it does not take meeting. long. Do you, just do, you, do you pray when you get on an airplane? Please don't let this airplane crash. I get it Lord, so often that one. I make it so often that uh, sometimes I forget to pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I pray also before it takes off, and, ah, before it lands. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, we were talking about the common grounds about Russian women and Filipino women here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are almost very similar, similar. in way of loving of course, to dress humans. up. Wearing uh, high heel shoes, yeah, looking, yeah. wanting to be beautiful, yeah. and uh, we want crowns. We want to be in beauty contests like the yeah. Russians. Also, they like beauty contests and to join beauty contests or uh, yeah pageants. And now I was asking her about men. Men. So who is the symbol of men? Yes, for her, what's her symbol for, for men? men? And said. Uh, Putin. Putin, right? <laughs> Putin. So why Putin? Of course, because he's the most strong, he's the most powerful man, and at the same time he's most gentle, most, uh, he follows his words. Putin never say word before he, he does, he makes things happen. Oh, wow, he makes things happen. So, because a lot of, uh, the, uh, from different parts of the world, and don't laugh, Eric, <laughs> we also have a little like, not that not negative, but like, we don't know him. So that's why I want to know what are the other characteristics and uh, uh, things that you like about Putin, so we can know more about your leader. For me, he's the symbol of man. If I would like uh, my future husband, it would be like him. So what do you mean by a symbol of man? Symbol what of is man is your dream man. So because he's really a man. <laughs> he's really the a man. Ideal. Power. The deep. When power meet uh, gentleness and the oh. gen generosity and uh, handsome, oh, yeah, I find him handsome as well. That's good, right? Mm, then that's equivalent yeah. to a prince. <laughs> he's better than he, prince because yeah, man, than prince. man made himself. He's not born he's a in a prince. He's made man. Yeah, self, definitely. What, what uh, I mean, when there's so much negativity in the, in the world about Putin or going against Putin, for it's all the European nations all sanctioned his country, all the American countries are all sanctioning him, what is that? What is that? I mean, uh, um, how do you, especially because you're Russian, how do you respond to that sort of darling? Thing? Much more negativity goes about Trump. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> well, I mean, Putin actually put Trump in the White House, so they kind of go hand in hand. But uh, um, I mean, with, with, with all these things going on, I mean, that's one of the things when you say Putin now. I mean, everybody thinks you know, killer and and, and all these different things about him, and that's kind of. Um, the, the world is kind of people always good. envy successful, overpowerful people. I always like envy, you know. You the, know word they no use. one can compete I mean, him, even Trump. He cannot. I mean, that, you know, he, he annexed an entire country, but so that, that's I yes. mean, that's part of what it's. He does not annex the, entire country. He won election. Sorry, huh? he does not annex country. He win election, legally and officially. He won election. He was the only person in the election. No, it was many others who could not compete him. Even one lady, she's very young. Okay. It, so he was his know. own it was his, but the lady was from his own group. I mean <laughs> that's that's I mean I'm just I'm just I'm just like the the point I was trying to get to is 
how does a what does a Russian feel about all that? Uh, um, how do they uh, handle that? Is it majority Putin, like like Duterte? We majority, say we claim yes. the sixteen million who who loves him and praise him, or fourteen million, whatever. How, he cannot, how I also is, respect is majority of Russians. <laughs> also? I also respect and love Duterte because he's outstanding man. He deserves his place very well. I find. Yeah. So and, uh, in in Russia, is that how we, you feel? Like the majority feel of population, Duterte? yes, support Putin for sure because he make us proud of Russia. Yeah. Mm. In the 90s, when I left Russia for Canada, I was not be proud to say I'm Russian because in power, it was the power of Yeltsin, and I did not like it. And I mean, it was messy. And Putin come and sort everything out, and now we are a great country again. So you mean I you hope Putin? Trump do the same for U.S. So the, uh, you well, said Putin's pretty much running our country now, so that's what we okay. did. <laughs> Natalia, so he kind of put things in order? Yes, he definitely put things in order. He restored, he get... Uh, pension plans to be paid, retirements and all the schools, you know, oh, hospitals. Um, it was nothing. It was all disorder in the 90s. Anyway. Oh, that's good because I'm also proud of President Duterte. How about you, Miss uh, Villanueva? Else is not proud of pre our president. Our president is really trying his best. He's a good leader. And, uh, you know, regardless of the news and the... Uh, uh, remarks or commentators that com though those those are comments of some women that he is not gentleman but for me he is right yeah. if so. you don't know him really personally the, uh, probably you just see him from the outside yes. but again they yeah. say yeah. the perception of others is not his reality yes. oh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yes. exactly that's what the world that's what the world you know the world sees of because I, I've actually met Duterte quite a few times, and he's a delightful guy. I mean, he's very nice. He he's is. very funny. Um, but the, the perception I know that the world has is they look at what he says on the microphone, and sometimes people are in shock at, at what he says about women and, and, and how he perceives them or how he seems to perceive them, which sometimes, in my opinion, is very different. The, the way I see him on television is very different than the way when you meet him in person He's, you know, he's such a, it really is a, a delightful, funny, delightful. nice guy. Yes. Um, right. um, but, he, you know, but he, on, on television, sometimes that they, they, they look at, that's all they see, is mm -hmm. what they see. But I see it this way. He's really a, an excellent president for the Philippines. And I tell to people who put him down that mediocre attacks excellence. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and he is uh, uh, exactly. actually a good example of how we should think and how we should feel. You know, we have to be disciplined in our emotions, with our emotions, and then we have to focus on our objective and our aim because, uh, honestly speaking, he's really doing good. Yeah, yeah, I, f yes. I, f I feel good. I mean, I see a lot of uh, changes. Yes. Do you? That's how sh we as should be. Well, as a as a foreigner, I mean, in my foreigner. neighborhood, in, in my neighborhood, it, it is you, true. Are you still? No, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm still a foreigner. I've been here for long enough. But the the changes that you see, um, the small changes that you see within your own neighborhood, yeah. yes, I mean the neighborhoods, especially where I'm from, which is over near the the U.S. Embassy. There's a lot less of people um, sleeping on the street, walking around trying to steal things, because mm -hmm. so right now, um, you know, everybody's scared to death. To be a thief because you know if you get of caught course. you could be you know thrown in jail or mm. worse. So I mean, uh, um, uh, in that respect, things have gotten um, uh, noticeably mm -hmm. different in Manila. Yes. Um, I mean, you know, the, the the issue with how he looks, how he's being perceived in the world, mm -hmm. um, is very different because of how he speaks. And people say that's just how he is. You know, yes. he degrade. You know, if he says something that's degrading to women or something like that, the rest of the world looks at that as something horrible. But in the Philippines, Come they don't on. see it that way. They're like, "Hey, that's just Duterte being Duterte. That's yes. just the way he speaks." And they think that uh, he's also a killer, like the way they think of Putin, mm, right? Which yeah. I said, I want to propose. He doesn't kill anyone. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's a big difference between <laughs> Putin and Duterte anyway, when it comes yeah. to Okay, that's the that political subject. views of our beauty queens. Can you <laughs> see they're well-versed politics? <laughs> and they have both a stand and respecting the leaders of their country. And I'm so glad that even... I respect both leaders. Yes, actually, you love Duterte I love too, I know. You and I that's love why Duterte. I do. <laughs> why do you think I do it? You know, Natalia's going to make a bronze sculpture bronze. of mm, Duterte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so 
that, Thank let's, you let's move advance. on from the political <laughs> view. No, but I, I, what, one last thing is, what, one of the things that I do admire is that, even though, you know, especially with, with Putin, we may have a huge difference of opinion, but mm -hmm. it's the fact that you do have such strong opinions, which is what I like, which I think is what is what's good about some of these things you're talking about, empowering women and, and, mm -hmm. and so, because, you know, when we think of beauty queens, mm -hmm. like I said, in the United States, um, we think of them as not being also smart. Yeah. And then, yes. however, that I think that's what's very important. I think that that the fact that you have such opinions on your political thing, you know, uh, you know, we can debate yeah. um, in an intellectual level on yeah. on the different uh, but uh, people. I would rather respect what the political view of the very person who's who who knows him and who is from him, like me, I I really appreciate the Duterte being a Filipino. For the first time, I opened my eyes to politics in the country, and I must say, he has really brought the dignity and honor yes. of the Filipinos. Definitely. And I feel it. I feel it. Like what it. you like said, like yes, what you said I'm it. proud now to be a Russian. Me, yes. I say, I'm now proud as a Filipino. Yes. I feel that he person. like a united all nation of the Philippines. Mm. He, brought, he brought politics into everybody's household. <laughs> so there's more, level. there's more, you know, <laughs> yeah. people who did didn't care or even think yes. about politics before, and now they're very well informed, and mm. they know things, and they watch the news. Mm. I mean, that's a lot of what happened after the last Filipino election. And thank you for Facebook. We learned to know even the things we should not know. <laughs> even the things we shouldn't know. <laughs> and all the fake news. All too. The fake but news anyway, so that was the political views of our smart, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> brained, <laughs> full women. Um, so how about uh, uh, emotionally? Emotionally. Did you ever get hurt? I think you're not the type of person, Natalia, first, mm -hmm. that you don't get hurt because you know what you want. Uh, Every one of us get hurt. I so would say what the was your difference is how you react on that. So what know? was your most hurtful hour? Was it a love affair? Was it somebody hurt yes, you? Definitely, men hurt you the most. Men you love hurt you the most. <laughs> so you you been hurt. Was it at of your course. teen years or it was no, uh, maybe a few exactly. times in life? A few times in life. <laughs> yeah. So do you cry a little bit? Of course. We How cry. long do you be sad? <laughs> What did he do? Tell us what he did. Oh, Wait, come on. <laughs> so, Details. How do, you, how do you get up from those pains? I think you grow, uh, you grow even more stronger and you begin to love yourself more. Because when you understand it's just his pain, he makes you pain because he's in pain. That's his problem then, finally. Yeah, but how do you heal yourself? So let's say you just got hurt now. So how do you heal yourself? Do you meditate and sleep? You and meditate, it goes away? you go shopping, you meditate, oh, you go <laughs> massage, you go shopping, cha shopping. chat with girls, that's it's a uh, therapy. So you, you go shopping, that's yeah, what you buy you something heal yourself beautiful yes. for yourself. Yes. Uh, they say, uh, and you get invited for, to get di for dinner with someone else. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> they said, if somebody breaks your heart, get another one to fill it. See, there is so plenty in the line. I don't see the problem. Okay, actually. so what's your tagline for emotional pains? Tagline? Yeah, so mantra. Uh, mantra <laughs> is, I come to my mirror and I say, oh my God, he does not deserve me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I love that. And by the afternoon, she's having tea with another guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who, who is the next to dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the next for dinner? Where's the roll of eggs? No, but in, in all honesty, okay, no holds bar. How long did you have to sit on that pain before you can say, okay, who's the next guy? Now, sometime you even have a dinner with someone, but you sit on this pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 <laughs> so how, how long do you get it out? For like a two months, three months, or when you have fallen in love, the next one you've forgotten it? Sometime mm. it's longer than two, three months, yeah. Oh. Well, I think I think sometimes when you're when you're young when you're younger, um, the when, more you're younger, then it's longer. Yeah, the that's you're it. younger, the more painful it is yes. because you, you don't have the experience yet. Exactly, of being in pain. exactly. Um, it depends. Really wants to talk <laughs> how well how well you know uh, how well you know woman spirit, Eric. Is that Mr. Duterte? Yeah. <laughs> so the, you take that call. I wanted to give his comments. He's, uh, she, she is, right, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> somebody, I think one of us wanted to give a, a message, but anyway, shall I read them? Make a, make a comment. So they said we are not on channel 19. Which channel are we? They're asking which channel we are. Yeah, Sky Cable is channel 19. GSAT 58, check your provider. Signal is channel 28. 
Destiny Cable is channel 30, and Cable Link is channel 2. All right, I think they're asking. I'm sorry, that's why they were calling me. <laughs> um. And hi to Jonalyn, and hi to Vic Billiones, and to Vicky Arienda. That's my tita. <laughs> <laughs> and so, going back, so... Uh, the pain. Your, the your pain, pain make us stronger, actually. That's why... But I build now the um, really my self confidence that I don't think so someone can hurt me much even yeah. you know you know I like what Oprah says he said she used to be in that uh, when exactly. she said I got hurt I used to cry yes. for men and I said I really, really love him and got hurt but he said when he she matured a little bit she said ah. Oh. I got hurt because I allowed him to hurt me. Exactly. So how you after she, after she became worth I love, nineteen billion I love dollars. Oprah. Like, I'm not quite so hurt anymore. <laughs> I love no, Oprah. I love I love Oprah because she's great personality. She's great teacher. I listen her her teaching many Yeah, many she's times. my mentor actually. Wow. Uh, and uh, how about you? Uh, Sweetie Pie, in your <laughs> darkest moment, let's talk about love. When you've hurt the first time, how did you? Can what was your mind? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll edit this out later. <laughs> <laughs> what was your mantra? Because we want to see uh, queens like you. The, how do you go about pain? Because our girls are listening. They want younger than us. They want to know how you go over pains. How do you get out of those uh, dark pits? Dark nights. Dark nights. <laughs> or darkest hour. Like, especially about or the love. sluggish or, oh, what, draggiest, what, how do you call that? But for me, actually, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know, you, you, you just always uh, bear in mind that uh, every emotion is just temporary. Yeah. But huh? you cry too. How of long? Of course. Like a month? You, two months? No, no. It shouldn't be a month. It will make you, uh, you know, look uh, ugly. I don't want to be ugly. That's <laughs> so, like, I don't want to be ugly. Uh, like me, I only <laughs> cried for three months. Three months, I cannot. I, I, no, not every day. Not every day, but you know, you can cry. It's good to cry also because it's like washing of the soul. I always tell my kids that it's okay to cry at times, even if there's no reason at all. Like you just burden, you're just stressed out. It's good to cry, you know? I know, to clear the tear ducts. <laughs> <laughs> to clear, myself. like you know, to to replenish your your strength, and you just have to let go and let. Actually, you just uh, for me, for me, my mantra is to let go, let go of what it is and what it had been, let go of uh, the the emotional baggage. So how do you let go? Because she does meditation. So what do you do? You pray just, and meditate. I pray. I pray. Uh. I, it just it doesn't. Uh, for me, um, meditation is uh, even a quick. Um, you know, staring at uh, you know water, like when you're in a shower and you just clear your mind. It's meditating already. So I I just pray and I just always thank God. Like every even if I. If I'm depressed, I I always thank him. Like okay, okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this um, pain because you know maybe it's it has a it has a reason for all of this. Yeah. You know, they said pains like you made a mistake choosing a guy who hurt you. They said, God is one way of saying to you, this is not your place. Yeah. Move to another yes. person or another place You'll or another career. Yes. Next day yes. will be always better. Yeah. Yeah. That means when you made a mistake. And this guy uh, rejects you. It means God says, "Hey, you rejects. have to move out <laughs> from that guy or from that space." However, Mar um, MK, it's not about. Oh, I just want to tell all the young girls or all the young women out there: there's no rejection. Actually, there is always a choice. You know, um, it's it is a matter of whether you are being uh, fitted on that person or not it's a uh, it it doesn't mean that if he's, he doesn't like you you're being rejected it's just not meant for you yeah. you know it's a uh, don't ever think that you're being rejected always yeah. always take the word rejection in your vocabulary yes don't yeah. 
Don't also, take it. Or there's no such thing as rejection. No such thing yeah, as actually. rejection. It's about acceptance. It's about uh, you know accepting the fact, the truth that. Oh, you cannot you cannot understand each other. So be it. You cannot yeah. understand each I guess, other. I guess what I'm doing is I'm I'm, I'm accepting my rejection. <laughs> no, no the there's word. no rejection, now, Eric. The there's word no in rejection. your dictionary rejection no. because they say will you feel rejected when you focus on what the other person thinks about it's you. It's about unwanted, it. being unwanted. Rejection is about unwanted. Yeah, and you're, you're not, not being un unwanted. You are just, you know, having this kind of uh, understanding being that different. you are just different. Correct. And it, it doesn't mean, if, if not meant for you, it's not meant for you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. girls, rejection, take it out. Yes. It only <laughs> means that you're only focusing on what he thinks yes. or what you think about him vice versa yes, yes. because if you keep on thinking that oh what did you think of me you think I'm an idiot yes. what could he do you to just me? have to respect you, yeah <laughs> you are just focusing on what he thinks about you and vice versa or what others will think about you but don't do that because yes. don't focus on that and take the word rejection well, you are just different yes. from each other yeah, yeah. It's, it's what's wrong with me um, and I know a lot of people, even my, myself, mm -hmm. when something, somebody rejects us, as we say, or doesn't like us anymore, <laughs> goes away, then you ask yourself, what's wrong with me? What's you wrong? look don't in the ask. mirror and you're like, why, why is this There's happening? There's nothing you know, wrong. Same thing then, with me. Then, then those, those are, those are the you. negative yeah. questions yeah. that you ask yourself, and it yes. pushes you down more. Because when yeah. you say, what's wrong with me? Then you start thinking. Yes. But yes. I said that your brain starts telling you, yeah. oh yeah, because when you were there, so you were like this, and you were... <laughs> you better <laughs> ask, what's wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with him. Okay, never mind. I like that. He left me. What's wrong with him? Problem. Yeah. You know, it's his problem. <laughs> you know, they said one coach. He, he did not choose the best. It's his problem. He, he's blind <laughs> yeah. to see it. Okay. <laughs> you know, they said when when something becomes bad or good, when it's something <laughs> bad happens to you or rejected or whatever painful things happen to you, all the words you can say is, "How can it be better than this?" To yes, God, you know, of or when it when when it's also beautiful that happens to you, said, how can it be better than this? So it I'll depends be the on best the emotions. Of the best. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, never say why me, why, 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 and why? What did I do? No, <laughs> don't question that. Just say, how can it be better than this? That's when you're asking God, how can mm. it be better? And if it's it's something good, say, how can it be better than this? this? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. How could you be leaving that? But anyway, Eric sorry. is doing that. So that's a good expression and mantra when you get rejected yes. next time, right? Check out yes. these guns. How about you? When you get emotionally rejected, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> or what did you do before when you got rejected? Well, obviously, what I was saying before is when you're young, mm. it's very different. Like when you get older now, if somebody rejects you, are like, ah, okay, that's happened like 20 times already in life. Next. Um, but when you're young and somebody rejects you, you take it really hard mm -hmm. and you take it really tough and you're like, uh, you know, why is this happening to me? I, they don't understand. You know, and then you, I, I want to, you know, I want to kill myself. I want to, you know, I hate myself. And then this, you know, this whole long thing that you go through about the problems that you're now having within your, within yourself because you, you know, are so sad or so upset and then getting out of that. And that's when it takes like a long time to get out. And that's when you, I think when it's good to use other people when go to your church and go to your teacher and go mm -hmm. to your parents and sort of find people and 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 talk to you the men and let out what your your biggest problem your biggest fears are but mm -hmm. you know what to get rid of those rejects and pains and insecurity yes insecurity i think that's why they say you should oprah again said oprah. you should be the best of what you best are of the best. and you you must always be honest mm -hmm. truthful with integrity yes. because when you've done everything, you're honest in all the things, in all your dealings, mm -hmm. then there's no excuses. If people say reject you, that means it's not your fault. fault. And yeah. then you don't have to go back and say, why me, why now, why did she do that? No, you just simply say, I've done my best, mm. I guess. I did my part. It was not good enough for her. Yeah. I've done my best, maybe it's <laughs> but not good enough. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's, a there's a big chance, of course we're not really sure about this, Oprah may be running for US president. 
Yeah. 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 That, would, that would be the best. Okay, now we're that going into politics. Okay, on that note, we'll just go for a short commercial. Don't go away, Philippines. We'll talk more about empowering your emotions. So we were talking about how this beautiful queens <laughs> are, are their, what are their mantras when they are in their darkest hour especially pertaining to love aches, love aches. <laughs> you know everybody must have gone through pains and hurts like i was uh, i was how oh, second year high school when i had a crush and then i could really see him across my table in biology and i was always thinking and always my biology is high my grades because i'm oh. inspired it was the teacher you mean no ah! Oh, no, wow. no, 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 it was a boy, a boy, a boy. <laughs> and, uh, uh, only in the Philippines. But then at the a at her fourth year high, <laughs> they eloped. And I was so hurt. <laughs> but uh, not really that hurt, hurt. But uh, I did not cry about it. But like oh, those little hurts and little hurts. But the first time I really got hurt is uh, when I fell in love. That's when you give your love. That's when you get hurt. The rest yes. of the, the uh, relationship with other guys, they, they were the one loving me. Yeah, wow. That's yes. when and I started loving a man that I got hurt. But then okay. again, they say you allow people to hurt you. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you can just blame yourself. Do you know how many men cry about you? Uh, I can still so there's a by club the out there called the, <laughs> the male, the Marilyn, the Marilyn Greg ex-boyfriend club. The ones I remember, I can still count them on my fingers. But anyway, so <laughs> have, you, have you ever noticed that though in high school? Like the, the person that you love the most in high school, and then when you go back and look at them now, <laughs> just yeah, how ugly yeah, they are. Yeah. You don't how recognize bad they look them. Now. Yeah, and you say, thank God. I <laughs> thank God, that. yes. Thank See, God. be careful for what you wish for. Exactly. It's good that God knows who's better for you. Could you imagine yeah. each time you like someone and God gives him, uh, yeah, to you? <laughs> yeah, then, then you have no other option. You know, you will not have other option. Yeah, yeah so uh, my tagline is like, maybe everybody say there's almost a lot of fish in the ocean but then what I what I say is if you're not meant for me <laughs> you're not meant for me yes. yeah and I might be too good for you Exactly. You know? and then just move on never question why me why this why him just remember rejection means you are focusing only to what other people think about you yes. that's true that's true we're all worried about what people think about us, and I think that's one of the reasons why we get so depressed, mm -hmm. especially when somebody's saying this about us and that about us. You're thinking, oh, well, you know, I broke up with him, and now this is what they're thinking, and that's what he's thinking, and that's what they're thinking, and that's the thing that you shouldn't be thinking about at all. Yes. But that's why in, in anything you do, whether it's love or friendship or business or anything, do things truthfully, honestly, and all your best. Yes, and be the best so that nobody can blame you later if they rejected what's your best yeah. you know your true best the best expression of yourself or the highest expression of yourself then you can never blame yourself then it's just their rejection to you it's not your 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 thing yeah. anymore right okay so yeah. what are other emotional pains that you think can be so hurtful but you went on career-wise mm -hmm. Maybe childhood pains. Oh yeah, childhood like what? Childhood pains. Like what childhood um, pains? I lost my father when I was six. Oh I yeah, losing a parent big, is really mm. painful. Big, uh, when you're so young. How young mm. were you? I was six and a half. Wow, that's very young. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's painful. Harsh. So how did you go about it? Uh, I think I miss him more when I become teenager, and uh, till now I miss him. Is yeah. it they really need a, a, a father figure, right? You want to ask yeah. about the boys? And I was the father, father daughter, you know. No, I was not so close to my mother, so oh, I was his your daughter. daddy's girl. Yeah, daddy's girl. Yeah. So how did you do about? It? Were you lonely all the while? Yes, but I build it, uh, build the confidence in me. You know, I always educate myself. When did you feel like? okay i don't have my dad i accepted it so when did you accept it like you have to move on uh only recently actually maybe a year or two ago really yeah. oh OMG. Very recently. Mm. really yeah wow and what mantra did you tell yourself i was big big uh, self-research on me and um i just uh, i would say i forgive my father finally that he left so early is that i mean what, what was the what was the thing that that you know you said one uh, or two years ago 
that you finally like let it go, whatever that your father had had died mm -hmm. when you were six. What was it that that came I to you? I wrote a book on the spirituality and how the children fears hurt us the rest of the life, you know, and that my father died so early. Uh, I feel very much miss him, and I think it's influenced my relation with men as well. Yeah, so, I just yeah, wanted to ask you. Yeah, so, does, in what does. way did it affect you with your relationship with men? Like, there's no um, perfect figure. Maybe I looked for a father. <laughs> that's why. Oh, that's why you like older men. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, do you do you call your boyfriends and your husband daddy? No, never, no. never, okay. never. Right. But but the, I like the attitude. Like, would father care for me? I, I love that attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Mary Lou? Uh, are there any other pains aside from the love aches? Just the same. I mean, um, I lost my dad when I was, um, you know, uh, back 2005, and it was so tragic in the family because he was murdered. And oh, it murdered. took me hmm. like uh, more than That's 10 painful. years. That's yeah. painful. More than 10 years. And e even now, if there's no, actually, the feeling is still there, but you just, tr you know, you just have to. The, the letting go, the acceptance. It's a matter of. So, how did you, when did you accept it? Because she's um, also a daddy's girl. Yes, and uh, I uh, actually, the lost is, uh, you know, there's no acceptance in uh, when, you, when you say that um, you, you ha it's just about, I, I don't, I still don't accept that I lost him because I know for that, uh, that he's with me. Mm. You know, he's with me, and uh, I, I believe that um, he's always with me. He's he's uh, he's, he's your been, angel. Yes, he's, he's been watching over me. I can feel it. You know, it's a, that's why I uh, I have said a while ago. It's about your faith. You know, it's about your faith. Um, faith for me is about um, it's about what you expect what you expect, what to happen, to get. That's why you're in pain. However, if you let go of the pain, if you have accepted the reality, you will let go of the pain. Yeah, you know, reality is like, there's a time for everything, like sometimes yeah. time for death, and we cannot have everything forever. It's so the scary, only permanent the in this scariest. world is change. So yes. one sooner or later you lose your mom, your dad, mm -hmm. your sisters, mm -hmm. your best friend, your husband, your wife. But that's why they say give the most love. Yes. You have to so give that when everything. you they depart from you at any time, you have done your best and there are no regrets. Yes. That's something we all have in common is death. We're all gonna die. And you know, all our parents eventually are going to die and it's how we accept it and deal with it sometimes is, is, is you know, how you end up living your life. Yeah. But it, it affected, how old were you? I was uh, 20, I think 29. Oh yeah? 29. Yeah. Uh, it's just that um, I'm just grateful that I've, I've been with my dad and I had, uh, that he had showered me with so much love and then um, you just have to, it's a matter of being grateful. It's a matter of acceptance. And you just have to continue to love, regardlessly. You yes. know, it's, that's, that's You still it, have your mother, so yes. you know the love that the, who you, you still have. And it's still there. I can, I, you can feel it, right? When you, ha, you, when you love somebody, there's always a connection. You know? Yeah. It, there's always a connection. Regardless if um, a per the person is your friend or the person is your lover or the person is your relative, there's always a connection. So um, it's not just my dad that I lost. I lost, um, but for me, it's not losing them, you know? Um, I. My, my, my great, my best friend, my aunt, uh, my first childhood aunt uh, died a, a year ago. So uh, until now, I, I see her, her telephone number in my phone. I, I, I refuse to delete her number because I, 
it's it's so good to to yes, feel that's, yeah that's her number is still there you delete the ex-boyfriend's number but you don't, don't you delete, delete your, your, your relatives and <laughs> family stop it, Ari. <laughs> yeah all right so uh when when you have pain like that i mean i lost my father but you see because of my faith as mm. you said mm. in the bible sooner or later yes. you, you 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 let go of, of your loved ones so mm. that's why do the best you can love yes. them while they are there when they're Gift. alive so that there are no regrets so i always say well he's in heaven now that's what his life is just to that yes. and uh, i believe that we made our blueprints in heaven mm, so we, we 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 wrote everything what we want to be even the time of our death that's true i mean my my, my mother is closing in on 90 years old. Oh, wow. So, so lucky. When, yeah. you know, it's, you know it's, it's great that we've had her around. She's hilarious yes. and she's funny. You know, but things are starting to, you know, and she keeps thinking, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. And the doctor's like, she's not going to get better. This, you know, this is as far as it goes. Oh. You know, she's not going to walk up, you know, and walk around mm -hmm. and drive a car again. Mm -hmm. Even though she keeps thinking she is, the doctor's like, no, it's but not going to happen. Still, you can talk to her still. Yeah. So. I mean, she's mm -hmm. still... From the neck up, she's mm. hilarious, like she's oh, always been. That's oh, so um, um, but we know, um, you know, I know that my mother can't live forever. Um, we're just, you know, all I can say is, you know, I've thought about it too. Like, what am I going to do when she finally passes? Mm. And I think what I'm going to try and, and you know, push myself and think about it, is to stay happy, stay yeah. happy because she gave us so much fun and hilarity mm -hmm. over like. You know our entire lives. I mean, she's I you know imagine. such a funny woman, <laughs> um, and that's what we kind of look at and kind of keep with us. Yeah, and oh, uh, well, ninety is really good already. Yeah, she's you. pushing it. But isn't that so funny? With all the years, you have eight years now in the Philippines. When how come we cannot be with our loved ones like mother forever? Why do we have to be separate from them? <laughs> that that's the that's the toughest part. Yeah, mm. because you have to be with Marley and Craig and all these I people to, yeah, to I learn from each other. <laughs> Yes. It's all about Marlon. It's all about Marlon. Yeah, if you be in your mom's skirt all the time, all the years, forever, then probably will, your world will just be limited into that world, right? Exactly. And we need to enlarge our world, you know. And every time my mom sees me on the show, she's like, she's mm -hmm. always telling me on the phone, "You can't get a haircut. You can't get a haircut." <laughs> <laughs> No. They don't oh, cut well, your hair there wrong. in the Philippines? <laughs> uh, that's how I am to my yeah. son, too. But anyway, so on that that's emotional funny. level, so oh, what are other mantras you tell yourself to other, like sometimes friends hurt us, things that we want we don't get, so mm -hmm. let's start with you. What's your mantra or your hashtag? When I <laughs> don't get what you want. <laughs> when I don't What's get your hashtag? <laughs> If it means it's not yet time, I will get it when I'm ready for that. So you never feel sorry or be sad? Uh, before, yes, but now I learn not to because... Uh, you so know. how do you brush it up? Brush it out. Just put it out of your mind. There's plenty of things to do. That's, mm -hmm. So you just go meditate and shop again. And mm -hmm. Not to shop again. <laughs> no, I create, I create many, Where's many projects, many proposals, many <laughs> proposals. You know, I create like maybe five to ten proposals every month. You know, and some of them go, some of them don't go. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Proposals. That's proposals, so you mean like, uh, not my, marriage proposals? My exhibitions. <laughs> no, okay. My exhibitions, my ball, my <laughs> many things. Many not marriage or indecent. <laughs> indecent okay, I, see, I got you. Okay. But some of them too, right? Sometimes you get indecent proposals. <laughs> and sometimes you get marriage proposals. It's yes. the opposite. I get the marriage proposals, but yeah. you know. Okay. And I have to consider proposals. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do when you get angry? Do you ever get angry here in the Philippines? Like, um, um, Sometimes I get angry when I drive, especially. <laughs> Sometimes frustrated when it's, when something happens too slowly. Ah, yeah. But then mm. I say, like in one second, I say, okay, relax. It's Philippines. You cannot change it. I enjoy it. <laughs> but you know, I do my time management. Either I'll do my makeup in the traffic. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. by the time I arrive there, That's I'm genius. Not every woman can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> while driving. That's while good. driving. That's good with automatic, oh you know. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. Marlon's texting in the left hand. She's putting the micro, the makeup on with the yes. right hand, and she's driving with her leg. <laughs> <laughs> because if you have a nice car, it can really you can just drive by your feet. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no holding on the on the how do you call that? 
still we're not we're advocating texting anyway. and putting on your makeup while you're driving. Yeah, we're not. On the left in that beautiful red Mrs. Universe 2017, Marilu Tolico Villanueva and Miss. I want to call you Miss because your husband is not yeah. here. Miss Natalia <laughs> Bronzova, <laughs> but she's married and he's Canadian. Yeah. Our Mrs. U, uh, Malaysia Global oh, Universe. A universe Mother. Global. Yeah. Uh, yeah, runner up. And also, she got, she will be Asia the Pacific Queen of Substance. The rep representative for Asia Pacific. Asia Queen Pacific. Of Queen. Queen of Substance. Of Substance yes. in Singapore this May. Okay, so emotional hashtags. <laughs> 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 so, what other hashtags do you put? Like, what's meant to be is not meant to be. Like you said, there's so many proposals, yes, decent so many and indecent proposals. In the moment you do proposal, you forget about it, and if it's come back to you, good. Then God bless. But that's, that's true, you know, when you have a busy yes. mind like yes. me, I, over, I can't even think of the pains and rejections or things that I don't get if I get it or don't get it. Uh -huh. I'm just too busy with your mind. That's why when you busy your mind, yes. You know, and women should busy their mind, right? My mind yes, you have to be down. productive. Then you don't have time to entertain negativities. Yes, mm -hmm. and never set into negativities. You agree with me? Yes. No, no, none this. Why me? Why now? Why yeah. them? Why this? What are you? Don't do the game yes. of shame and blame. Yes. yes. Self. What, that's what you call uh, self blame and shaming. Yeah. Don't do that to yourself. Yes. That. Yes. Spend your energy to yourself, to your projects, to your life, not to thinking what men do, why. Mm -hmm. It's his problem. Yes. Okay. All right. Always being worried about what people are thinking about you. Yes, <laughs> don't. <laughs> like, oh, you know, uh, and then you spend all your time thinking about what they're thinking. You know, the only time that I think what they thought about it is when I'm told to do an impromptu speech, and then I'll say, did I sound okay? <laughs> <laughs> Which Opera said every celebrity ask of after course. at the end they say, did I do well? They <laughs> said very normal. The famous, uh, yeah. this beautiful dancer, nice body, singer, mm -hmm. uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. She Even Beyonce, she said after her, her uh, each time she makes words, she asks Opera, was it okay? Well. So <laughs> she found out Opera said everyone wants to know validate themselves yes, if they were okay. yeah, well, uh, That's actors, the only time for actors me. image is the most important thing in their entire life I mean, their whole life is about their image. So, so when they're on, when they're on TV, they're always, yeah, they, they, they should be okay already by default. Yes. They so not us. always because because they know if you're if you're a big star, it can turn the other way very fast. Of course. You know, like one person says, so you do one thing wrong yeah. on television, or you said something. and then and you say one thing wrong, and then you're out. your career is <laughs> over. <laughs> then always mind what you say. Yeah, so so how about cool. you, uh, dear? When when people throw things at you and then do you get hurt or what's your mantra? Do people throw things at you? Honestly speaking, it's hypocrisy if you are, um, if you will say that you're not uh, being affected at times, you know. Uh, but of course, you have to, uh, just like our president, uh, he's, it's, he's really a good example, you know. Uh, for as long as you're ve being focused or you are just focusing on your objective on what uh, you really want to happen, you, you can never go wrong, you know? You just have to uh, self-assurance that, oh, just, just, just think of the long term. Not just for today, but also for for your plans. It, whatever you want to happen, you must say to yourself, "I want this to happen." Not to myself, but to everyone. Because you know, as queens, we are leaders. That's why I'm. I keep on saying or telling our co-queens, right? Our co-equal empowered uh, queens, like the Mrs. Universe Philippines Finest Women. Hello to, ev to all of you, my ladies, my beautiful queens. I love you, I miss you, and I, and I will see you later. Um, we, are, we are queens, so it's not about matriarchal. It's not about beauty, the physical attributes. It's all about how you feel beautiful, how you feel the beauty, uh, not just for yourself, but to everyone. That's why you can forgive, you can forget, and then move on, and then do something that is, uh, really can empower. Not just for yourself, but to everyone. If you think of other people, 
you will never go wrong. Yeah. You can only think of other people yes. if you meant to do a significant service. Yes. Other than that, don't think what uh, that's, others That's the, the, the real essence of love. Yeah. When, you, when you give yourself, you just don't expect. When you expect, that, uh, when you ex expect that's the start of okay. being hurt. You know, yeah. when you expect that's the start of being angry. So, you know? so when you give, you give unconditional. That's uh, no expectation. Yes. If, if you're waiting for that return, yes. you're waiting for the return, and you the return doesn't come, oh then you're mad. Goodness. I did all this work and everything, and they're not loving me. That's why when you do <laughs> something, you do it for nothing. Uh, best, yeah. best when you have no time to wait, you do something else. Yeah. Oh, that's then, then you are not disappointed. <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> I, I, I make my time somewhere else. You know, yes. I manage my time somewhere else. But that's good. So, what is the essence to you? What's this, uh, the real essence of a woman? How a woman should be? Or yeah, what's this? Oh, yeah, the essence of a woman. The essence, how it should be. Should be. To you, what is woman to you? Boy, talk about super broad question. Oh, you know, it was a one, question. Good, <laughs> one good question which the judges ask, when woman become a woman? When girl become a woman, I say when girl give a birth to the baby, she become a the woman. Motherhood. Oh, motherhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, Make I agree. Woman. I love that. And how a woman should be, she should be caring, of course, beautiful, elegant. She should have no time for um, for negative for negativity. Yes, and of course, she should be happy. I like that. So the essence of one for you, Miss uh, Natalia Bronsova, is motherhood. I agree to that. You know, the essence of one for me is motherhood because there are there are people who cannot become the wifehood. You know, because true essence of a woman is also being married to a man, which is the wifehood. I call it the wifeyhood. But sometimes we get married and become single again. So for those who are not married or prefer to be single and but have children, motherhood is really for me. It's the essence of a woman first, then the wifeyhood, and then the sisterhood, mm -hmm. wherein yeah. you show the world the, your essence and your, uh, your, your helping, your significant power to be shared with them. So motherhood to me, how about you? Oh, for me, the essence of a woman is being able to nurture. You know, regardless of uh, not being able to bear a child, yeah. you will be always free to nurture, to love. When you can be sensitive enough to understand, even to men, mm. <laughs> Correct. you are a woman. That's true. Of the universe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, they say that women is the, it was really born to be the nurturer, yes. the caring person. Yes. That's While the, the men are the protecti uh, the protector. protector. Yeah, cause we, and we, the and provider. Because we, be? we, become a, we, we become a man, you know, after you kill a bear. Yeah. That's what we you know. during the old yeah. times. Yeah, <laughs> What'd you kill a bear? So, but I like that. So, the nurturing. Yes. You are you nurturing, become, yes. caring, loving. You become a woman. Yeah. The woman of uh, you know strength, great strength. That's how men gets our yeah. support. It's our softness yes. and emotional sensitivity. The sensitivity. Inspiration. Yeah. Because and we have, we can understand more. Be, because I don't know, but however, uh, men are, um, that's why they need our support, because we can understand more. Do you yeah, agree I mean, the, with that? The most important woman yes. in a man's life, no matter what he says, is usually always his mother. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. um, you know, all women in some, even if you have never had children, I think most women are mothers in some respect. Either mm. they're a teacher or at work yes, or something. Yes. There, there's something. It's something just you know instilled in a woman mm. is becoming a is a mother of some type. You know, to whether your own children or to your idiot husband or, or whatever. Mm. Um, uh, I think that's one of the big the things when you're talking about crossing over from being a girl to being a woman. Yes, yeah. boy, when you're a woman, knows how to nurture. That mm -hmm. means she can lead you to a better future. You know. Who do you nurture these days? <laughs> Natalia. <laughs> who are, hey, Natalia, who are you nurturing? <laughs> the moment my sister. You heard it only right here. Who are you nurturing? <laughs> my sister visiting me, so I nurture her. She uh, was always my uh, baby. Okay. Your mother. Good answer. No, my mother in Moscow. 
in Moscow. Moscow. So yeah, she she my visited sister. you lately. My sister. Not yeah, mother. you're very close mm -hmm. to her, right? Uh, to my sister, more close than my to my mother. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. you give her loving, care. I actually nurture. brought her up. She's my baby oh. because uh, when she was born, I, I was already a teenager. Mm -hmm. So oh, then, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. the so mother was working much. Yeah. And so then I understand I because my daughter Christiana was 16 when mm -hmm. Zoe was born. You know, so I, I know that. So she's always like the mother to the sister, yes. you know, nurturing, But now caring. my sister's so much grown that she look older than me. <laughs> <laughs> but how's her maturity level? Is she as smart, intelligent, and as uh, matured uh, mindfully, emotionally, and spiritually like you? She's going there. Just going there. So if that's she would good. be like me, she would be me, but no one can be like me. Oh, well, it's different. I like that. She's different. But she look up to you up to now. Yes. Yeah, but up that's to very me. good. That's very good. Not up to mother, up to yeah. me always. So I'm anyway, so being crowned yes. as a beauty title holder, what have you in mind to improve the world? I want to improve just the world with beauty. Like being, in the, being in the pageant, you're getting yeah. questions. Exactly, like the and I love it. What would you do in improve It's actually the world? one of the questions in the pageant. It was yes. How will you improve the world? Yes, I will bring. I will do the same as I will bring the beauty to the world with my art, with my projects, with my ball. And now in January for my birthday, I organize Queen Ball. A queen for all the queens in the queen world, ball. a ball? A no, queen it will ball. be queen ball in KL for the moment. In KL. Um, because we do Russian ball. Last year we did Russian ball in Manila. But the next year we will do Russian ball in March. But my birthday mm -hmm. January 3, so I organize queen ball. In January? Yes. All right. So I hope I'll be one of them. Invited there. You're going to come to the book. Come to the ball. Be there at the ball. <laughs> as long as there'll be many balls. Come to, come to the ball. <laughs> All the queens wear the crown. Actually, it will be diadems for not, not crown, but you wear diadems or the crown. Oh, really? Okay, you better give me my crown so we can go there. All right, so how about you, my darling friend, Mary Lou? What the... Can, how can what, we change? I mean, no, yeah. What, what? can you? What can you give in your own to ways? The world. Because we, we can place. borrow other people's way of improving the Make world, but what do you have really in your heart? What's your passion for improving the world? Or let's start with the Philippines. You have 30 women. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like what I've um, I've been doing for two years now. Uh, there are lots of people who are asking me, why am I doing this? What can I get from this? Am I really earning from this? You know, I have founded uh, Philippine Honorable Queens. I have conceptualized the, the Philippine Honorable Queens. I have produced uh, the, of course, our national pageant. I have um, um, done this avenue for us Filipino to to showcase not just the tourism but also to you know to make to to make the world new about what Filipino are through the the international event that is uh, coming this um, December I this these are the things my simplest way of telling the world that I want something to be improved, unity, and uh, through through our programs, of course, my dear, Empowering we can women. yes, we we can re, uh, we can reeducate the the young uh, the younger generation through our programs, going to the barrios and the barangays, you know, uh, and I I believe that it is his really it it is his platform, not mine, because he's really paving ways for me to be connected to the right people. You know, being with you, with the the other queens that believe that we can do something about this world, you know, the chaotic or whatever we call this, but this there's hope in everything. So we still have hope. So these are the ways, not just to complicate things, but to simplify it. We have these programs that we can do to to improve somehow so our. So what particular program economy. have you done? The national pageant for one. Oh, I yes, have, that's a yes, good one. It's the, a good platform. Uh, the Philippine, the Mrs. Universe Philippines Finest Woman, and we are already starting. Even though uh, you know, 
people may say that uh, they're doing just shows, you know, the concert uh, concert for a cause, and then we have this uh, uh, speaking engagements to school. We are campaigning to schools. Uh, yeah, campaigning about what? For anti-bullying campaign, uh, anti -bullying. of course. Okay. Then the character formation. We have to teach the younger generation on how to be graceful, how to react on the bash to, to bashers or to social media news, how to deal with you know uh, the challenges, the, the day to day challenges. You know, we have to educate our young generation. Okay. Yeah. So Very what are the, well what are the things to improve to improve have more pageants. I think that's what you yeah. <laughs> The pageant <laughs> is actually a platform of good Yeah, deal. so you are yeah. you are selecting yes. these women, whether they like it or not, they get if you want to join there you must have an advocacy. And honestly Embry we are rebranding it, yeah. right? Yeah. And you my darling, okay, the next question is where is this power of confidence and empowerment coming from? Definitely from within you and from your experience and uh, from experience in life, I would say. Uh, because, you know, Eric, a little bit um, smile on the beauty passions, but yeah. beauty passions is not about actually beauty. It's mm -hmm. about your personality to develop and to show others how to develop yourself more younger to anyone actually mm -hmm. because beauty passion is about your knowledge your experience your presentation of yourself and how you go to the world you know how do you how you how you treat people how you treat everyone it's almost like I, they almost should change the name of it from beauty to something else <laughs> Yeah. So, but it's all included. What is this? Because beauty else. means not, not, not only <laughs> that's why it's all the inside yeah, beauty. Queen. Who can be but that's why we call it beauty. The honorable <laughs> queens. Honorable queens. Honorable queens. Yes, that that's better. why yeah. we're launching because that. The queen who should have a dignity, the crown is not only beautiful, it's a responsibility. Correct. Responsibility. To be nice yes. to people. Yeah, yeah. Be, be, to be, be nice be, to everyone. The ones that we see, like the big ones, Miss Universe, whatever, I think a lot of that has to do with beauty. And like, we just basically look at them all, laying down, and we're like, who's the prettiest one? one um, <laughs> but there's so many other beauty pageants where it's it's all about what you do with your life and that's what we were talking about before yeah it's what's important about any, it is what you do pageant, what the person does any beauty pageant about your personality first the beauty comes second yeah i think everybody talk, is beautiful in their own way right yes i mean they're also beautiful but you only shine there is that particular yeah queen or princess that will shine because the way she's expressed herself has yes. given her confidence. The way she talks, the way she so thinks. so unique. Yeah. It shines. Although the very next day, there'll be some people get, <laughs> you know that one Miss Universe, she wasn't that pretty. I don't know why she was on there. There's always oh. this somebody, this somebody, this somebody that says that. Oh. <laughs> you, never, you never watch it. Because the, the, the beauty pageants, you know, everybody is looking at not the Mrs. ones, but the ones we see on TV. Mm -hmm. yes. The big ones, the big giant ones. Everybody's right. looking at how they look. Mm -hmm. Like what yeah. they look like. Of course, it's a beauty pageant. That's what it, that's yeah, what it, it's always been about before. And now that things are starting to change, the world yeah. is changing. Yeah, because the, the audience don't, do not know what's happened yeah. behind of stage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. and the judges see what's behind of stage. Yeah, that, that's exactly. most important. So it, it, yeah. during the olden times, we had the notion of beauty just being... Famous for her legs, famous for her eyes, her yes. beautiful. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 bikini part of the pageant was the most important <laughs> part, and now I don't even think they have the bikini yes, thing. Now it's like a swimsuit. swimsuit. They all wear the exact Malaysia, same swimsuit. It's, it's about objectification. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. why they said uh, it's not being famous that you should target in this world. It's being uh, great. Yes. or being the greatest and you can only do this through remarkable and significant service what you can do to others mm -hmm. because you have done it to yourself yes. that's yes. true and that person <laughs> is, it, is that Mr. Diderte still on the phone? Yeah. he's uh, trying to get hold of us uh, here at the show I'm um, no, just kidding that's not really Mr. Diderte <laughs> <Just But kidding. laughs> anyway so um, uh, uh, we have got the last two minutes so what, where's that power coming from, that confidence of doing things for Mrs. Universe? The confidence comes from the empowering love that I have for my family, for the other people who needs my, you know, my service. It's, uh, it's too good to be true to some, but it's really, you know, that's how I feel, the passion. It's, it's the passion. Oh, to, yeah. to be able to share myself because so we only have one life we only live once and that is for not for yourself 
but for the world, mm. right? Okay. That's good. As for me, I would like to borrow the very essence of what the opera has says that all the power and all this confidence is come and her success is coming from knowing that she is the child of God. She said, I'm a child of God, the very child of the infinite source of power that I am and I come from the very source, so I am an infinite power and I have that infinite power. So she said, so I am and he is my almighty and that I am bored with infinite potential and possibilities in life. Yes. Great words. Indeed. And Indeed. to be able to be happy and successful, they said women or men should always do their truest and highest expression or version of themselves. themselves. All right, you have one minute? It's not, how you, it's not how you look, it's what you do. That's what I've learned today. Thank and you. Oprah, run for president. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's well, vote for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are in the that, and thank you so much, my beautiful crowned uh, queens. <laughs> uh, from the left, our Mrs. Universe 2017, director for the Mrs. Universe International 2018, <laughs> and please support our Mrs. Mrs. Universe pageant in Cebu, December yes, 9 please. to 12. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the program starts already, the December finals 10 4. to 12. Uh, but December 4, December. The the delegates will be arriving on December 4, and uh, the grand coronation will be December 10. And hope to see you guys. Please watch the Queen's Honor Night on December 9. It will be the night of special awards and also to launch our uh, honorable queens and finest women. And good luck and you hope it will be a very, very great success. It and Bo sings on you better everyone. bring home the crown. Yes. you <laughs> How about you, my darling? And good luck to you for Thank you, Singapore. Can I, yes, it will be in the next May. <laughs> next May. Yes. And you must come back again before that, all right? Oh, definitely. I come back for my exhibition yeah. in the Congress yeah. for Russian Bowl in March as okay, well. Okay, we look forward to all so your success things. and to all your advocacy as women. I will greet my little boy. I Hi, baby, uh, Carl, Marianne, and Angel, and mom, and my sister, and my brother. And to Hello. all our and avid, my big, big boy, big boy Mark and to all our avid listeners of DCRJ 810 AM, we love you, and hi, Mama, and hi, Zoe. Mrs. Universe Philippines Finest Woman, see you. <laughs> Hello to my husband, husband Andre. 